אוקיי. Let me, let me complete with the contents and all, then we will discuss further, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so let's begin with the session. Today we are going to discuss about the entire course content, the entire complete uh, roadmap that we are going to cover during this RPI UI path journey. First of all, my name is Santos. I am working as a technical specialist and it's more than 15 plus year of experience with the different technologies, with the different domains and all. I am taking these online sessions. This on these online session is mainly from last three four years but again with the training and all I'm involved with like it's more than 10 15 years I'm involved with these trainings and all as well this particular session that we are going to start with it's about the RPA UI path it's about the RPA UI path that we are going to start with The total duration it's going to take is approximately two months. So many times people are asking me the question, Santos, two months like why you are going to take the two month time? It's too much like uh, some of the time like, see, I can take the session, I can make it complete in two days also. That's not a problem because we are taking some corporate batches also on Saturday and Sunday. In that corporate batches, our agenda is like, uh, it's uh, it's like uh, we need to complete the things in the two days, like 9 to 5, 9 to 5, two days session. And we need to complete that. And we are going to do this because it's a profession, so we are going to do this. But believe me, after the session, if I'm going to analyze the things, people are not getting anything. Not more than 10%, 20% because the technology is the things need to digest we need to digest the technology the two months you are going to learn the individual technology you are going to give you are going to spend some time you are working with some assignments you are working with the use cases you are going to open the software even if you are going to open the software and you are going to close the software you are going to learn the few new things over there so it's going to take the time around two months duration and uh, our session schedule will be like it's four days in week it's four days in week and it's for one hour session it's for one hour session we have the first question that people are asking me like santos you are taking this session already we have so many like so many materials is available with the internet with the Google, we have so many uh, materials are there. In the YouTube, we have so many recordings are there. So how your session is different from these recording available with the Google or the YouTube? My answer is, with the Google and YouTube, the recording is there. The content are there. But what they are talking about? They are talking about the initial things. Suppose we have some activities, what they are talking about? They are talking about the initial properties of the activities and all. They are not talking about the use cases in what scenario, what activities you are going to apply, what properties is important for us. They are not talking about that. Number one. Number two. This particular session that we are going to start with, it's not only with the RPI wipeout. If you are going to get trained with the RPI UI path only, it's not going to help you out along with the RPI UI path. Basically, we need to complete the profile. We need to complete the entire profile. This is what people are looking for. 
what does it mean the profile that I am talking about? Suppose we have the library written in the Python and client is asking me Santos do one thing already we have the libraries written in the Python do one thing go and access that particular library in your UI path for the purpose of automation. Now the question is how you are going to link the UI path with the Python and you are going to access their library. So many times what we need to do lot of extra things we need to do that's not available in the UI path. So what I'm talking about I'm talking about the customization I'm talking about the custom library and for that custom library what we are going to use we are going to use the C sharp we are going to use the bb.net so what I'm talking about I'm talking about the complete profile suppose what we need to do we need to make the connections with the UI path but our database is available in Oracle our database is available in SQL server so how you are going to connect the UI path with the SQL server and then accessing the data and then you are going to process the data so this particular session is all about the entire profile that I am talking about. The entire course content I am going to divide into the three parts. Number one, it's a core UI path person. Number two, it's an advanced UI path person. UI path person. And number three, others we are talking about. In this entire core UI path person, see maximum of the time like people are talking about this before attending the session like they are going to ask so many questions related with this but believe me this is the most important thing and everything is important over here initially we are going to learn about the core portions of the UI path before we jump for the automation we need to learn about the basics basics means what in the UI path how we are going to apply because every automation is consist of multiple logic it's not only the automation in the automation you need to apply the multiple logic and how we are going to apply the logic to apply the logic uh, we require something like loop we require something like conditional statements so initially we are going to learn about the basics we are going to learn about the input we are going to learn about the how to display we are going to learn about how to assign we are going to display we are going to learn about how to apply the conditional activities how we are going to apply the if how we are going to apply the switch cases how we are going to apply the loop we have the different types of loop is there like a repeat number of time while loop do while loop so we have the multiple different types of loop is there so we are going to learn about the loops we are going to learn about the array we are going to learn about the area we are going to learn about the collections we are going to learn about the collections these are the alphabets of the UI path so initially we are going to learn this thing it will take around three to four session to make it complete normally I am saying these are the alphabets of the UI path if you are comfortable with these things then only you can do the automation so initially we are going to learn all these activities after that we are going to start our journey with the automation and we are going to start with the Excel automation. Remember, if you can work with the Excel automation, if you can work with the Excel automation, if you have the depth knowledge with the Excel automation, you are going to survive in any company in RPA UI path. If you can work with the Excel automation, what are the tasks we are going to do with the Excel automation? We are going to do each and every task whether we need to apply the filter we need to apply the join we need to apply the merge we need to apply the pivot we need to use the micro we need to apply the bba we are going to learn everything about the excel automation we are going to work with the dynamic data we are going to put different conditions and all and we are going to do everything with the excel automation and it's not only no no we are not going to do this or we are not going to do that this is not in our syllabus it's not like that everything is in our syllabus everything is in our syllabus 
normally my practice is i am trying to cover each and everything in your session but might we suppose someone 0.1 percent like some chances like something is missing over there and if you are going to figure out santos this part is missing i am definitely going to cover that because this session this is my personal initiative i am not linked with any institutions and all and because the institution like any institution i am talking about they have the agenda like they need to complete the course in this particular time like uh, they have they need to provide this contents only they don't need to we don't have that like we are going to learn each and everything with this excel automations in the excel automations lot of things we need to learn about the data table we need to learn about the data row we need to learn about the data column after this excel automation we are going to learn about the word automation we are going to learn about the word automation so many times in the automation world we need to apply the mail merge our data is in excel some template is there in the ms word how we are going to pull the data from the excel we are going to apply the data to the template and we are generating some pdf and all how we are going to do that so we are going to learn about the word automation after this we are going to learn about the pdf automation we are going to learn about the pdf automation under the pdf automation we are going to learn about how we are going to work with the structured data how we are going to work with the unstructured data some of the time pdf is not readable how we are going to access that data how we are going to apply the different ocr and also we are going to learn about the pdf automation after this pdf automation we are going to learn about the recording here we have the different types of recording is there like we have the basic recording the desktop recording the citrix recording ai cv recording we are going to learn all these recording over here after that we are going to learn about the scrapping how we are going to scrap the data like we have the desktop scrapping like a screen scrapping we are going to learn about the data scrapping we are going to learn about the like so how we are going to scrap the data if we have the tabular data if we have the pattern data so from the background how we are going to pick the data that's the part of the scrapping so we are going to learn about the scrapping here also we are going to learn about the selector we have the different types of selectors are there we are going to apply the wildcard character with the selector we are going to apply the fuzzy selector we are going to apply the parameters with the selectors we are going to apply the index with the selector how we are going to fine tune the selector what are the different selector we have the partial selector and uh, like we have the full selector so how we are going to apply these selectors and all and lot of exercise and examples we are going to do and we are going to do all these things in the session itself maximum what i am trying to do like maximum time see everyone is busy if i am honestly speaking lot of time i am giving so many tasks to the candidates but 80 percent of the time i am not getting the response from the candidate because people are busy nowadays i can understand this thing so basically my objective is i am trying to cover the maximum your assignment the questions part and everything i am trying to cover in the session and then again i am giving the questions and all and suppose you are not able to do that in the next session we are going to cover that so we are going to work with the selectors and all after this we are going to learn about in these portions in these portion we have so many exercise real time exercise we are going to do and after this what we are going to learn about after this we are going to learn about the mail automation how we are going to send the mail how we are going to send the attachment how we are going to download the attachment how we are going to filter the mail i don't want to download the attachment from any mail i just want to download the attachment from the few mails mail from the particular user mail on the specific date so we are going to learn about the mail automation how we are going to work with the mail automations after this we are going to learn about the error handling we are going to work with the error handling we are going to work with the debugging here we are going to learn about the config file and dictionary 
config file and dictionary. Here we are going to learn about the variables and argument. We have the variable and we have the argument. So we are going to discuss about the variables and argument. We are going to discuss about the variables and argument. And then now this is the time to apply these things where we are going to apply. We are going to apply these things with the project. This project is entirely based on these topics only. This project is entirely based on these topics only. And we are going to learn about the project. It's not only we are going to describe the project and you people need to develop. No, we are going to learn everything from the project, like how to start, what are the things we need to consider during the development and how we are going to approach the project. I will share the recording and everything with you and you people need to complete that. And definitely you are going to learn a lot of things over there. Like suppose how we are going to work with the, how we are going to work with the, suppose I need to release the memory. So how we are going to work with that? So here we are going to discuss everything about this. This is the core portion we have. After this core portions, we are going to start with the advanced portions of the UI path. After this, we are going to start with the advanced portions of the UI path. In this advanced portions of the UI path, what we are going to learn about? Basically, now I am going to make the foundations for the RE framework. We are going to learn about the RE framework or robotic enterprise framework. Maximum of the time, I am getting the text from the candidates. See, basically, we are in the public domain. Honestly speaking, we are in the public domain. Even the people I don't know, they are going to ask me the questions about the RE framework and I need to respond them back. And maximum of the time in the UI path, I am getting the questions related with the RE framework. Why we are getting the questions? Because normally people believe like RE framework is the most complicated part we have in the UI path. But remember what exactly the RE framework is. It's a kind of project template we have. It's a kind of template. The purpose of RE framework is it's going to make the things easy for you. The purpose of RE framework is it's going to make the things easy for you. But normally people believe like RE framework is the most complicated part we have. Why? The reason is our approach is wrong. It's our wrong practice that's going to make it complicated. Remember, RE framework is the combination of multiple topics. So before the RE framework, you should have the good understanding of the error handling. You should have the good understanding of the debugging, the config file, dictionary these portions you required along with this you require the state machine you require the state machine other than the state machine what you required before the re framework you should have some good understanding with the queue you should have some good understanding with the orchestrator you should have some good understanding with the orchestrator then we are going to learn about the re framework so RE framework is basically the combination of all these things, the state machine, the queue, the orchestrator, the asset part I'm talking about, the asset part, error handling, debugging, config file and dictionary, variables and argument. All these things makes the RE framework. And then we are going to learn about the RE framework. After this RE framework, again, we are going to develop one project over here. The difference between these project is this particular project was based on all these portions and this project is going to be based on RE framework. This project is going to be based on this RE framework. And here we have, here we have, we are going to learn about the orchestrator. And we are going to learn about the orchestrator in full detail. We are going to learn about the orchestrator in full details. We are going to learn about the queue. We are going to learn about the assets. We are going to learn about the unattended board, about the deployment. We are going to learn about the scheduling, how we are going to trigger that. 
so we are going to learn about the orchestrator in the full detail like how we are going to apply the storage bucket so we are going to learn about the orchestrator orchestrator you can say like basically it's a control center we have through the orchestrator you can control the behavior of the board that's running with other machine board means the application suppose the application is running with your machine and i am going to control the behavior of the board that's running with your machine what i can do i can schedule i can start i can stop the board that's running with your system and that through the orchestrator so we are going to learn about the orchestrator along with the orchestrator here we are going to learn about the document understanding document understanding is the framework document understanding is the framework to read the different categories of the documents so we are going to learn about the document understanding we are going to learn about the action center we are going to learn about the action center we are going to learn about the ui path forms here in the ui path you can also design the form you can develop the forms and all so we are going to discuss about the ui path forms we are going to discuss about the json data how to work with the json data how we are going to invoke the api how we are going to work with the xml how we are going to work with the xml so all these things we are going to learn in the ui path after this here i am talking about the profile here i am talking about the profile remember it's not only the ui path people are asking for if i am talking about the companies and all it's not only they are asking for the ui path along with the ui path they also want like you should have some exposure with the c sharp you should have some exposure with the python you should have some exposure with the sql server now people are asking me the question santosh we don't have the coding background i don't have the coding background in the entire ui path this is the question like santosh if i don't have the coding background then still i can do this ui path my answer is if you can operate the machine if you can operate the machine if you can work with the microsoft office ms office the excel word you can work with the ui path number one number two regarding this try to understand you don't need to be the developer you don't need to be the developer you are not going to write the lines of the code what you need to learn you just need to learn how to write the few lines of the code one line or two lines how we are going to apply the string handling how we are going to apply the date and time so few things we need to learn that that part also we are going to cover over there like regarding the string handling regarding the regex regarding the date time date time these parts we are going to learn in this portion and here we are going to learn in slightly details so basically and we are going to learn all these things from the basic so no need to worry about i am going to consider it from the zero level so i am going to start it from the basic so but again keep in mind like so many time people are saying no no i don't have the programming background it's not about the programming background i am just going to start it from the basic you just need to understand the few important things over there what are the things you need to uh, understand basically you need to understand the edu.net you need to understand the link language integrated query edu.net why we are why we are using suppose i want to connect the sql server with the ui path then we are going to apply the edu.net suppose i don't want to use the excel automation i want to connect excel through with the edu.net again the another way to connect with the excel and all with other database suppose we have some library written in the python so you have some understanding of the python how how to create the methods in the python and how we are going to invoke that method in the python so this is the entire course content we have this is the entire course content we have people having so many question like coding and all i already clear that you need to write the code but it's one line or two line not more than that if i am going to put the same questions to the google in the ui path we need to write the code ui google is going to give me the answer no it's not required to write the code in the ui path but because we need to get the job we need to get some good options so definitely like uh, we should be something extra that's why we are going to do this number 1 after every session you people are going to get the recording after every session 
you are going to get the notes people are saying like santosh suppose we completed this entire ui path and after two months i am going to forget the ui path i need to revise the particular topic then number one the recording will be there number two anytime you can watch, join the other batches also multiple batches is going on multiple batches is going on so you can join like i'm just going to put like see multiple batches these are the batches just going on like multiple batches is going on regarding this y path yeah multiple batches is going on if i'm talking about the ui path na? so many batches is going on all these batches are related with the ui path few batches get completed some batches old batches was there like all these batches are the old batches it's already completed so and these are the running batches so multiple batches is going on so no need to worry about like you can join any particular batch and even if this batch is not there you can connect with me anytime yeah you just need to text me and we can connect and we can resolve that so no need to worry about that thing. people are asking about the job support suppose santos i am facing the problem in the job see even if you are not attending the session na, and you are facing the problem in the job anytime you can connect with me and i will try to resolve your problem but some of the time people are taking like uh, uh, unnecessary they, they are expecting too much like they they are expecting like i am going to develop the project for them no no i am not going to develop the project for you you are going to get the salary i am not going to develop the project for you if you have the problem you are going to connect with me i am going to resolve the problem i will give you the concept how to do this but ultimately you need to do that then that's why we are attending all these sessions and all these exercises here got my point people are also asking with the question santos are you also going to provide the job reference at all see i am not giving any kind of guarantee and all this is the nonsense term like people are using how anyone can give the guarantee for your job this is the simple thing you need to crack the interviews you need to, like at the time of interview what you people are going to do it totally depends on you what i can do i am telling you I'm taking all these session. It's more than 10, 15 years. I'm taking all these session. It's more than one lakh students already working in the different company with the different technologies and domain. I don't need to do anything. I'm just sending the message in the group. Group is already there. I'm sending the message in the group. Like if any requirement in the UI path, please. And I'm getting the requirement from the candidates with the different cities with the different locations. Once I'm getting that, I'm going to forward this requirement to you, or I am going to ask you like okay send the resumes over there but it's all depends it depends on the requirements and all and this is how I am going to help you out it's entire life it's not for one job or two job like if you are going to connect with me this is all the things is things will be there from my side so this is all about the entire course content and everything so any questions if you people have anything that you would like to discuss with me any questions from you have The recording will be there after every session the notes will be there our batch schedule will be like it's alternate day session we have and it will take around two months to complete the things so any other questions from your side anything you would like to discuss yeah Shaurabh and Pabne anything any questions from your side okay Sure of any questions from your side? Okay, okay. Okay, it's fine. So we will start the session from the next day. We will start the session from the next day. And this this was just the introductory session. So you people can understand how we are going to approach for the entire course and what are the things we need to do. You don't need to do anything. You just need to attend the session. I will send the recording go through with the recording and complete the session before coming to the next session you need to complete the previous session and we are going to get the enough time to do that we are going to get the enough time to do that so this is how we are going to approach for the entire sessions and all some of the time if you are facing the problem with the individual topic you can join that other batches also you just need to text me you don't need to worry about like uh, 
you can revise the multiple times till you people are going to get the job if you are going to get the good options in the ui path then it's okay we have lot of a special session we have on sunday and all that i will update you like three hour session for the particular topic we are going to complete that so this kind of revision session is a regular practice of our batch okay thank you i am sending the recording i am sending you the recording and all and we will start our session from the saturday that will be the first session we have in that session we will discuss about the rpa and we will start with the ui path installation and everything okay at the same time we will continue with the session okay thank you okay thank you